In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a band 9 in the IELTS Academic Writing Test Task 1. Let's begin. Here we have our question. The line graph shows the percentage of the population in India, China and Brazil living on below $1.25 a day from 1980 to 2005. Summarise the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. So first of all, we need to make sure that we understand this line graph and what it is in fact showing us. Across the bottom, we have years. The interval is five years. We have 1980, 1985, 1990. So that's a 25 year period. And then up the side, we have the percentage and it is going up in 20s, 20, 40, 60, 80 and 100. And you can see there is a colour for each country. China is in red, India in green and Brazil in blue. So the percentage of people living on $1.25 or less in one day in China in 1980 is just under 90%, about 85%. And we can see the line is falling. Now I have a top tip that I highly recommend you follow. When you are in your exam, make sure that you have a ruler and find halfway between 80 and 100. I think that is about there. And then with a pen, draw a line that goes along like this. And then you are going to do that for the next part down, you're going to draw another line like that. A few moments later. So we can see here, rather than going up in 20s, we're going up in 10s. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And it makes it much easier to understand what is going on. So that is a top tip. I have used this myself in exams that I have done and it really works. Back to our question. We are going to use the title to write our introduction, but we're going to use synonyms. So we're not just going to copy it. Here we have the word, the verb shows. So I've written demonstrates. This line graph demonstrates. Instead of the percentage of, I have used the proportion of. And here it said the population in India, China and Brazil. So I have said the Indian, Chinese and Brazilian populations. Here we have living on below $1.25. I've said surviving on because that's a very small amount. So you really are surviving on less than. The question actually says below. So less than $1.25. And instead of a day, I have said per day. And then from 1980 to 2005, between 1980 and 2005. So super quick, use synonyms to write your introduction. Now, the next paragraph. First of all, we need to remember what the question is asking us to do. It's to summarize the information by reporting on the main features. Now, if I look at this line graph, what jumps out at me is that China has a dramatic decrease, especially when you compare it to India and Brazil. We're starting at about 85% and falling to about 20%. That's huge. So I have written, overall, Chinese citizens enjoyed incredible prosperity during this period. Prosperity means becoming richer with the percentage of people living on less than $1.25 a day, falling dramatically. So that adverb dramatically, it means it's a huge amount from just under 85% to approximately 20%. And if you look, thanks to the lines that I drew, you can see that China is about 85% and it falls to just to approximately 20%. If you don't, if you can't give the exact number, you can use approximately or just under, just above. So now we are going to write our next paragraph again. We've noticed China. Now, we have also noticed that India is falling and Brazil falls. However, they do not fall as much as China. So, however, although both India and Brazil 
experienced a reduction in poverty levels throughout the same interval. I want to use the word interval because I've already used period, so I'm using a synonym, and this is a time interval. The decrease was significantly more moderate. So what that means is, yes, India and Brazil, poverty levels did fall, but not as dramatically. So I've more moderate means not such a big jump and then significantly more moderate in comparison to China's astonishing fall of roughly 65%. So China went from 85% to 20%. That's a fall of 65%. And it's an astonishing fall. It's very, very shocking. So we've commented on China's dramatic fall. We've commented that India and Brazil, whilst they have fallen, not they are not as dramatic as China. So the next thing that I noticed, the main feature, was if we look at Brazil. Brazil, actually, the levels of poverty arise. So more people are poor in 1985 than in 1980. So something must have happened to the economy of Brazil in that time. However, China falls and India falls completely. So I'm going to comment on this and I've used this adverb intriguingly. Intriguingly is a very fancy way of saying interestingly. Intriguingly, whilst poverty levels in Brazil were substantially lower in 1980 when compared to India and China. So yes, definitely lower. The country, that means Brazil, is unique in that it saw a slight increase in the first five years before commencing its gradual downward trend in 1985. So if we look at that, it goes up and then it starts this gradual downward trend. We're now on our final paragraph. So I wanted to think of one more thing that I could comment on. And if we look at this, India in 2005, the levels of poverty are still much higher than China and Brazil. In 2005, despite having improved at a similar rate to Brazil, so if we look at it, India went from 60 to 45, that's 15%, and Brazil, let's say, went from 20 to about 10, that's 10%, so not exact, but similar. Levels, in, levels of poverty in India were still hovering around 45%. Now, this is a fantastic phrasal verb, hovering around. It means in the area of, and because it's difficult to read this exactly, I mean, it could be 46%, it could be 44%, if we say hovering around, this means that we're not giving the exact answer. This was due to India starting the period markedly higher at 60% in 1980. So this is because India, the reason that India ends at 45% compared to Brazil, it's because it started at 60%. So it was much higher in the first place than Brazil. Now I did think of another ending, but this involved a little bit more maths. I was going to say nevertheless, and then instead of India, I'm going to say the Asian giant, that's a synonym. Nevertheless, the Asian giant still managed to close the gap with Brazil by 5%. Now we need a little bit of maths here. At the start there were 40%, there was 40% difference between them, but at the end there is 35. So that's a difference of 5%. Why did I not put that? Simply because some people who are not comfortable with maths will not like that. This is not a maths test. However, if you can do a simple calculation like that, then of course do it. So before we end, let's just recap what we did. We wrote our introduction with synonyms using the title of the question. We then looked for the main features. The main features were China's dramatic fall. The fact that although India and Brazil both decreased, it was nothing like the decrease, the fall of China. We also looked at the fact that Brazil was the only country of the three to 
rise and then start to fall. And then finally, the fact that India ended the 25-year period with a substantially higher percentage of people living in poverty. Also, really important in this kind of activity are these words which mean not exactly, approximately, just under or just above. We also had an example of around, around 45%. And then we had some words, some adjectives and adverbs that were very strong, astonishing, significantly, dramatically. Now I'll give this one last read and check for mistakes. This line graph demonstrates the proportion of Indian, Chinese and Brazilian populations surviving on less than $1.25 per day between 1980 and 2005. Overall, Chinese citizens enjoyed incredible prosperity during this period, with the percentage of people living on less than $1.25 a day falling dramatically from just under 85% to 20%. However, although both India and Brazil experienced a reduction in poverty levels throughout the same interval, the decrease was significantly more moderate in comparison to China's astonishing fall of roughly 65%. There's another word which means about or approximately. Intriguingly, whilst poverty levels in Brazil were substantially lower in 1980 when compared to India and China, the country is unique in that it saw a slight increase in the first five years before commencing its gradual downward trend in 1985. Commencing, fantastic word, means beginning or starting, but is fancier. In 2005, despite having improved at a similar rate to Brazil, levels of poverty in India were still hovering around 45%. Nevertheless, the Asian giant still managed to close the gap with Brazil by 5%. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it useful. If you did, please give it a like, leave me a comment, and why not share this video with somebody you think would find it useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.